And we're back, we're back, we're back. I had myself muted there, nice one. Right, I think we're good now. I think we're working. Everything is working as it should do. Right. Um, making sure we're actually live. See us listed on Twitch. What the frig? Oh, so we are actually alive. I can see it now. Okay, cool. I think we're we're rocking, guys. Thank you very much for bearing with me. Thank you. Apologies, apologies, apologies. So we're back then. Right. Let's uh, let's get things moving then. So. Here we are at Madrid with a beautiful, beautiful Twitch livery. I think uh, considering it only took me about half an hour to make, uh, I think I did uh, okay there actually. Looks pretty good. Not super, super high res, but I think it works. It's actually quite easy to make a livery for the 747 versus the A320, for example. Didn't take me too long at all. The only problem with the 747 is, though, it, it's on this side, it's reversed. <laughs> so all the rain's backwards, unfortunately. Um, but anyways, let's uh, let's get things moving then, guys. So if you're in Twitch chat and you want to get involved, uh, what you want to do is you want to type exclamation point uh, uh, controls in the chat and you'll be able to see the um, basically the, 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 the controls essentially for the aircraft. And what I am going to do is just to maybe cut down on like just super uh, toxic um, trolls. I'm going to put it on followers only, uh, but it's going to be for zero minutes. So if even if you, even if you, um, you know, even if you just follow me and then start typing the chat, you'll be able to type straight away. So. Um, yeah, but I just don't want, you know, just total dicks coming in who clearly don't have any care in the world and um, just try to, like, you know, mess everything up. So, um, yeah, let's get going then. So what I'm going to do is, because uh, there's no commands really to actually start the aircraft, so I'm actually going to just, uh, I'm going to get the aircraft powered up for you guys. So I'll put the external power on. And I think that's it. I think everything else can be uh, can, can be controlled by commands. Um, the engine start command will actually do uh, a bunch of different things in one. So um, there's that. Um, so... so... I think we're about ready to get started. I mean, we've only got a few, few viewers here, but hopefully you guys will want to get involved and, and give this a try. <laughs> it's really not that it's really not too difficult what i've done is i've i've actually put on a few of the assistance aids as well in game so um you know because you don't have the fine control that you obviously do doing it through twitch commands you know i've put a few assists on to make it just a little bit easier and on top of that i've also um I've also made it so there's no aircraft damage, so we can't mess the aircraft up, but we uh, <laughs> we can try and do a bow roll or some something like that if we want. Um, <laughs> so should be a good laugh. Um, so I'm just going to initialize the aircraft on the FMS because obviously you guys can't do that through chat. Uh, it's a little bit more complex. So I'm going to just uh, set the aircraft up as we normally would do. I'll initialize the position here. 
uh, execute that. Our cost index I don't think works here, so I'm not going to do that. I think I've forgotten to actually install the salty simulations mod that I was going to use, but I don't think that matters too much for this. And then I'll put flaps 15 for takeoff. Obviously, you guys are going to be doing the takeoff, <laughs> so it's entirely up to you what uh, flap setting you want to use. You can change the flaps. So that's that. And... Um, our departure runway is going to be on, the, I think it was 32 right, I believe. Let me just check my uh, charts here real quick. It was, uh, sorry, it was 14 right we're going to take off from, not 32, I'm reading it the wrong way around. 14 right, and then we're going to, basically the plan, like I say, is to take off and do a circle around the airport and then come back in on the ILS for uh, 32, sorry, for 18. Oh, so there are ILSs for, let's see, no there isn't, never mind. Uh, Wayne, welcome to the chat, mate. I hope you're well. I am not a pilot in real life. No, I am uh, just a flight simmer. But uh, yeah, would like to be a pilot, though. I'm not going to lie. So yeah, maybe in the future. Uh, so we're going to go ILS 18 right Zulu. That's the longest runway here. And then transition is going to be, let's see. Uh, medulla. Uh, we don't want that one. We want, uh, Rilco, I believe. Actually, no, we'll go for Psy. Thanks. Yeah, we'll go for Psy because that's uh, a little bit further out. And we'll execute that. Wayne, thank you very much, mate. I <laughs> appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe one day. I'm uh, thinking about doing some training next year. So we'll, we'll see how things are with the, uh, the situation uh, after hopefully the coronavirus thing calms down. Right, so it's not really input our flight plan properly on here, but you get the, the general idea. Um, we want to fly to the south and then back around... I'm not sure why it's loaded in like that, actually. That's a bit, a bit rubbish, but hey-ho. Um, we can still work with that, I think. Maybe we'll see. <laughs> so the eyeless should be tuned in as well. Uh, 110.70 is correct. And that's about it, really. Cruising flight level. Um, there's no point in going too high on this one. But let's just see what the ILS. Let's see what the ILS requires. Uh, so it requires an intercept at 7,000. So we'll set the cruise to. We'll set it to uh, flight level 80. Okay. Um, and I'll set that for you guys. Just. Just so you've got at least a little bit of uh, a little bit of a head start, because I know it's going to be quite <laughs> quite tough. I'm going to arm LNAV and VNAV as well for you guys, so that auto throttle will uh, will work properly. Um, and I'll set up the. I mean, we're probably not going to be doing a rejected takeoff. Let's face it. So we're not going to mess with that. Um, and then everything else is uh, everything else is set. So I'm going to turn down the volume here. And uh, it's over to you guys now. So if you're in the chat, in Twitch, if you type in exclamation point, exclamation point controls, uh, to get the commands, and then you can, uh, you know, go away and go ahead and uh, see if you can get moving. 
I know it's a bit of a weird thing to ask, but yeah, let's see. Can you, can you, uh, can you get the aircraft moving? So, obviously, a pro tip to begin with: start the engines and get pushed back. Or am I going to have to get us started here? Uh, I don't think anybody is uh, willing to uh, <laughs> willing to get us going here. All right, okay, I'll. Uh I'll get us started then. Parav, thank you very much for the follow. I hope you're well. I hope you're having a great week and had a fantastic weekend. Welcome to the stream. All right, I guess I'm going to get us going then. So I'm going to use my phone here to type in the chat. This is uh, Twitch open up on my phone here. I, I need to use my phone because um, I've got to keep this window like active on my computer before it will like, accept any commands. Um, but what I'll do is as well, just to make it a bit more obvious what's going on, I'll uh, I'll bring up these displays as well. Are they get still going to stay up? Yeah, they'll still stay there. So I'll just leave that kind of there for now. And uh, what I'm going to do is so in chat, if you were to type. For example, engine start. You should see. Something start happening. And uh, this is extremely anticlim anticlimactic. Uh, <laughs> oh God. Hello. Oh dear, this is uh, this is a little bit embarrassing. Because I have tested this, it should work. Um, okay, that's a bit weird. Hang on one second. Okay, <laughs> I've re-logged in, so maybe that will help. There we go, engine starts. Wow, okay, nothing's happening. This is not, um, not how it was supposed to go, I'm not gonna lie, guys. Let's just turn off the aircraft, <laughs> and I'm gonna go engine starts. Wow, okay, it's not working at all. Um, I'm not sure why then. This is extremely uh, quite sad, to be honest with you. I uh, couldn't have more uh, things go wrong so far in the stream. <laughs> oh my lord. Yo, Parav, welcome to the stream. Uh, I'm not from the USA, no, I'm from England. From the US, um, yeah, from England. Tommy, um, the commands for controlling the aircraft, they only work on Twitch, 
unfortunately not on uh not on facebook hey mariner welcome to the chat mate welcome welcome i hope you're well so i'm just trying to uh i mean i'm just trying to put to test this uh project i've been working on where we can we can control the aircraft using twitch chat but for some reason and lo and behold like i've tested this multiple times and it's worked fine as soon as i actually go live and do it it's not working it stopped working <laughs> i'm uh i'm a little bit confused actually because it's worked flawlessly every single time i've done it previously Uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm just going to restart some software that I'm using. Uh, no, shouldn't need to run uh, either of those. This is it. This is what I uh, worked it out through. Essentially, it should just uh, connect automatically using um, Sim Connect, I believe. There we go. <laughs> There we go, guys. It's working now. Okay, cool. So if you're in uh, if you're in Facebook chat and you want to get involved and you want to try and fly this thing, head over to uh, Twitch. Uh, use the link in the pinned comment, and uh, and you can uh, you can you can try and get this thing moving. <laughs> Mariner, if you do exclamation point command, uh, sorry exclamation point controls. It'll tell you all the commands you can use. There we go. The engines are starting. You can hear them starting up now. I haven't pressed anything on my keyboard or my mouse. Just using the chat here. But yeah, if you bring that up, Mariner, um, that should uh, give you an idea of what, what to do. It's, it's, it's written all in sort of normal, normal prose. So... Um, like the words like push back, flaps up, flaps down, and stuff like that work. Yes, Casein, welcome at <laughs> the street. The uh, delivery is looking good. There you go, push back starting now. Mariner's uh, got it. But, you know, you need to remember about the other things as well, you know, like parking brake and stuff like that. Obviously, needs to be released, etc., etc. You'll need to control the plane on the ground with the rudder. There we go, Mariner's on it. Mariner's on it. Let's see if Mariner can fly this same thing then on uh, just using the the chat. Scoobs, welcome. Scoobs is here as well. Thank you very much for the follow, mate. Thank you, thank you. All right, so we're actually gonna we're gonna try and taxi across. You want to try and taxi across to this runway here. So I'm gonna need, I'll turn you I'll turn you because obviously you guys can't do that. Um, I'll turn you to the uh, to the right here, but you have turned the rudder. You can see you've turned the rudder there. And uh, you guys can stop pushback with the same word pushback. I'll straighten you up just so it doesn't go wild, but there you go. There we go. <laughs> hey, Mariner's killing it, Scoops. 
He's uh, he's about to fly the plane using the chat. There we go. We're moving. I'm going to bring up, uh, I'll bring up some of the screens as well so you can actually see what's going on. Um, just ignore the fuel though because, oh actually, this is the default, uh, isn't it? So I'll have to actually probably put more fuel in it. Right, there you go, mate. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll bring these ones up so you can see a bit better. Hopefully that's a bit easier for you to see. What's going down? <laughs> yes, guys, do it together. Do it together. It's controls. Um, controls with an S, uh, Scoops. There you go. Oh, I don't know what I did there. Uh, I won't work on your phone. Uh, that's a shame. All right, so you've got the rudder pointed to the left, so I would recommend doing rudder middle before before you go any further. So you're going straight. Uh oh. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> This is blocking the screen. I'm just making it. I'll make this a bit smaller. So we've got that so you can see. <laughs> just going off roading. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Casey, are you getting involved, mate? Are you getting involved? Ah, fair day, Scoob. That's un unfortunate. Maybe you could maybe try on a different resolution, maybe on uh, on Twitch. I don't know if that'll help. There we go. We've got flaps one. Oh, this is the runway. You might need to slow down. Idle. I recommend typing idle. <laughs> oh, looks like we're going. If you type the word idle, it will just bring it to idle thrust. Oh no. <laughs> there we go, idle thrust. We've got idle thrust. Rudder right, rudder right, rudder right. Oh no. You have to type the brake one a lot, I think, for it to work. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. All right, well, at least we've got damage turned off, so. It does. No, it doesn't do exactly whatever you say, but if you type in exclamation point uh, controls case in, then it'll, you c it gives you a list of words that you can type. Um, you could do pushback now to get you out of this spot. Push back all one word. There you go. There you go. <laughs> uh, I'm going to actually clear this off because it's actually killing my flare frame rate. So I'll leave it like that just so it's a bit smoother. Um, I'll put the camera kind of like this. Maybe it's a bit easier for you guys to see all the controls and stuff. So I'll I'll turn you whilst you are I'll turn you whilst we're pushing back because you can't do that with the rudder. It's the same as being in game.
Uh, yes, I can, Tommy. One second. There we go. There we go, and I'll pin that. I'm not sure why it unpinned. I think it's because I had to restart the stream, isn't it? Right, I will turn us to the left. And then I'll, I'll push us back. Probably be good to push us back all the way over here. And then you can, you can move over to the runway here. So look, you can you can see you are moving you are moving the rudder by doing that, but obviously because we're pushing back, it doesn't have any effect on the plane at the moment. So whilst we're pushing back, we only have flaps one. We're probably going to need more than that to take off. Uh, just a a little a little tip. <laughs> Yeah, that's a shame it doesn't work, uh, Scoobs, over on, um, yeah, on Twitch for you. I mean, I don't know if you could try, like, you could always just watch it on Facebook. Um, but if you go onto uh, Twitch and, like, pop out the chat uh, and have that open as a different window. Although, having said that, if you're on your phone, that, that's probably not going to work, is it? But um, that could be an option if... Uh, if you're on a computer. All right, well, guys, push back. Um, like I say, I'm gonna push us back to. I'll probably turn us turn us left here, so we're facing that way. And then uh, and then, back back over to you guys. <laughs> yeah, I mean you can just watch you can just watch the. Uh, Watch the fun, Scoobs. I mean, it's, I think it's going to be pretty, pretty hilarious, to be honest. <laughs> I'm just saying, guys, you... I'm just going to put this out there. You guys have total control over the plane right now. All I'm doing is turning those left and right. You guys can stop pushback anytime you want. You don't have to wait. <laughs> you can stop it whenever you want. There we go. Marin is taking the, uh, taking the initiative there. <laughs> Without Captain Scoobs, someone's got to do it. <laughs> oh, actually, guys, apologies. Um, the throttle command, I actually did change. I didn't change that on the web page. Uh, it's actually throttle up and throttle down now instead of more and less. I'll just get that changed real quick. Uh, 
There we go. Parking brake still on, I believe. Oh God, we're gonna go fast here. <laughs> Yeah, I could try and help uh, Scoobs anytime, mate. Anytime. And uh, just a pro tip as well. Uh, if you ever find it's going too quick for you, you can always slow it down quite quick by putting idle throttle. Or just typing in idle. And the parking brake works quite well just to uh, slow it down as well. Because yeah, kind of, you kind of have to spam. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> We're, doing, We're going straight back to where we've just been, guys. What's going on? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh no, we're stuck again. We're stuck again. Guys, I'm going to push us back. I'm going to push us back again and uh We'll go to, not to the left, not to the right. We'll just go to the left and then you're going to be pointing straight up towards the, uh, some open ground. <laughs> hey, where's the fun in that? Where's the fun in that, Mariner? I think what you need to do is just, um, if you straighten up the rudder now, if you go rudder middle. Just so it doesn't keep turning. And then you want to just try and turn a bit. Um, you want to get yourself just straightened up for a bit. Where are we going, guys? Where are we going? Okay, I'm just going to straighten us up. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's another runway there. There's another runway. You might be able to make it to the runway, or at least to some open ground. Are we ever actually going to get off the ground here? There's a runway over here. We're actually not looking too bad for that runway. There we go. There we go. There we go. Straighten up, straighten up, straighten up, straighten up. Definitely want to go right again now, though. <laughs> oh, no. I'm, I'm just going to turn... Oh, actually, we're in open ground here, so we're good. Stop doesn't work, uh, unfortunately. Oh, cheers, man. Oh, no. Where are we going? We're going into the forest. some water. Oh, there's another runway here. How convenient. B1. B1. We're actually we're lifting off. We're lifting off, boys. We're going. We're going. 
We're going. Oh no, I'd be careful with the nose up actually. <laughs> Gear up. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Uh, we're going pretty, uh, pretty high up now. <laughs> AP on. Good, good call there. Actually, good call. That might just save us. <laughs> okay, we're we're kind of pitched up a little bit here, but the autopilot is engaged now, so it might actually just uh, might actually uh, just save us here. There we go, you guys have got it. You guys have got it. Flaps up as well. There we go. Um, I'm not sure if the LNAV one actually works, so I'm going to just turn LNAV on for you guys. Myself. Uh, I think I want to... I think we'll turn VNAV on as well, so that that auto throttle start was working. Um, but obviously, if you want to turn it off, just, just let me know. I'll uh, zoom in on the... Um, Autopilot panel here, so we can see what's going on. <laughs> uh, yo, oh, also, uh, Tomboy and Diddy, thank you very much for following. Appreciate that. I hope you're well. Hope you're having a fantastic week. Welcome to the stream. You ready for some fun? Well, the plan is now, guys. Can you land the plane? So I've set up a, I've set up an ILS approach for us to try. So. That, the question is, can you do that? <laughs> can can we land the plane? That is the question. Or you know, I mean, you're entirely you know you know you kind of you're entirely free to do whatever you want, really. I mean. If you want to try uh, barrel rolling a uh, 747, then, you know, there's nothing to really stop you doing that. <laughs> I can maybe bring this up, actually. It might help you be able to see what you're doing to the plane a bit better. The autopilot is on, so I don't think it's going to let you actually manually control the plane. So you need to turn vertical speed on before you can uh, command it to go down, so... I think the command for that is just VS. Oh, approach mode is on. <laughs> Autopilot is just AP off if you want to turn it off. Okay, there you go. So vertical speed uh, should be on now. So vertical speed down. There you go. That's working. For some reason, it doesn't show on the enunciators, the FMCs, uh, FMAs, sorry. Uh, but it does show here, so. There we go. Cozone, Cozone knows what he's doing. <laughs> he's flown a 747 before. Or she, sorry. <laughs> Okay. 
You're actually picking up the localizer here. We've actually locked. <laughs> we've actually got localizer capture right here, but I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure we're at the uh, right altitude for it. Where is it? Where's Where's the airport even? Oh, the airport's to our left. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Nice, I like it though, I like it. We're setting a lower lower altitude on the autopilot. Lights are uh, lights are on. So we're all set there. For some reason we're climbing, I'm not sure exactly exactly why it's climbing right now. <laughs> I think it might be because approach mode's on maybe. I don't know actually I, I think it's got a bit confused you might need to use heading select to uh to bring it around that's probably going to be the better, better option i would probably say try heading select i think if you put head if you have to type in uh, uh h d g space s e l heading cell to uh turn it on There you go. That should that should have worked. I'm not sure why it doesn't look like it has, does it? Let me just check if that is correct. Yeah, it is heading south. There we go. Oh, yeah, my bad. Apologies. It won't let you go on a heading select because uh, LNAV and VNAV's on, and it won't let you change the speed either because of that. So there you go. There we go. <laughs> Shams here, I'm using, uh, I'm actually using Streamlabs OBS to stream. Spectrum Sinclair. <laughs> that's that's a blast from the past. All right, there we are. We're slowing down to 181 knots now. Cozone is doing an absolutely stellar job of it of bringing us in here. This is absolute magic. Okay, and I'll tell you what. I will give you a, a hint because, well, not a hint, but um, basically to intercept the glide slope, and the localizer for this this ILS, you need to be at 7,000 feet. So you're at a good altitude now. Just need to ideally not crash into these mountains and turn around. <laughs> Absolutely smashing it, Cozone. Absolutely killing it. Oh, 
Uh oh. Hopefully these mountains are not higher than 6,600 feet. <laughs> do you want me to just set the altitude to 7,000? Because um, you can only do it in 500 increments, unfortunately. There we go. There we go. Oh, we're getting a bit close to these mountains. I think we're going to make it over though. We should be good. We should be good. Getting the flaps out. That's flaps 10. Absolutely killing this here, Cozone. Holy. There you go. You got your flaps 20. So the ILS intercept waypoint is, I believe, uh, one of these two. So I would make sure that you're on this track before these two. And I think you might have to just type VS again. This doesn't look like it's activating there. There you go, nice one, Tomboy. That's so that's the badger. You can see the pink dots appeared there now. See that pink dot there. If you go VS up now, it should start climbing. sure if uh, approach is going to work just yet though that's probably going to throw throw it off yeah for some reason the 747 is a bit weird when it comes to activating approach mode if you're a bit far away absolutely smashing it here though Absolutely. Right, there we go, 7,000 feet. That's altitude capture, and uh, we're kind of heading in. Um, yeah, I might go a little bit, a little bit left, a little bit. Uh, I might decrease the heading a little bit. I think the heading uh, thing's messed up though because of the um, because of the approach mode. So there you go. Heading down, yeah, that's it. Sorry. Although vertical speed up is still on. There we go. Give it one more click, give it one more click. One more click down. I don't even see the airport. Should be over here somewhere. Feel like, should be, I think it's down here maybe. There we go, you should get the, um, we should have the localizer come, come up here pretty soon. Localizer is not coming though, is it? It's not uh, not appearing. It is definitely tuned correctly, so. 
It is tuned in, yeah, yeah, it's tuned in. Might not reach this far either. This is still quite a big distance. I might just turn right a bit. Also, a pro tip: if you're on a um, if you're on a Twitch on your computer, you can use your arrow keys to repeat your old commands. So if you press up and down on your keyboard, you don't have to keep typing it again. There we go. Gear down. Beautiful. Yeah, it's a shame I, there's no way of just going heading set and then just typing a number. Unfortunately, there's no way to do that, but... Uh, uh, uh. Let's see, where are we? Uh. Yeah, I feel like we should have. Oh, the the localizer is actually coming in, coming in now. Yo, AJ, nineteen Delta. Welcome, welcome. I hope you're well. Yep, yeah, there we go. The ILS is now alive. Uh, I would probably wait for the, the diamonds to come in and uh, you should be able to hit approach mode. Yo, welcome to the stream, AJ19 Delta. I hope you're well. I hope you're having a fantastic week. And I hope you had a great weekend. Oh god, what is going on here? Why is the aircraft doing this? I'm just going to rescue it from doing this because I'm not sure why it's doing this. Yo, AJ Delta. What? I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I have no idea what uh, what happened there, dude. Sorry about that. One uh, one second, one second. Right here we go. The localizer is coming in now. There we go. We've got localizer capture this time. There we go. Localizer capture. And it looks like it's flying onto the localizer here. There we go. Flaps down. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Right then. Can we get the glide slope? Glide slope is coming in. Glide slope's coming in, guys. <laughs> you want it to land in the middle of nowhere, Casey? Ah, well, you'll have to work out. Work out how to do it. <laughs> There we go, getting that speed down. Um, it's flying a little bit off the localizer. I'm not exactly sure why, and it's pitching the nose up quite a lot to slow down, but yeah, it should be good once it's got down to that speed. There we go, we've got glide slope capture and we're descending onto the localizer now. <laughs> Let's go! Spoilers armed. Did that actually work? I can't tell if it did, but I'm going to do it for you just in case it didn't. There we go. I'm going to set auto brake for you because there's no way of doing that. I'm gonna, I'll just put max auto on for you. <laughs> so we've got the flaps full. We've got 30 flap, uh, flaps. 30. Um, oh, actually, why is it descending like this? I'm not sure why it's suddenly started descending super rapidly, but let's see if it, it levels itself out.
Oh dear, why is it doing this? <laughs> I can't actually work out why it's descending like this, to be honest. Oh, I know why it's doing it, because freaking casing keeps typing nose down. <laughs> oh no. If I put in spoilers, it'll just start descending quicker. <laughs> Oh no, we've got a rogue. We've got we've got rogues in the chat. They've, they've just ruined the beautiful landing that Co Cozone just set up there. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh dear. That was going so well. How far are we from the airport? We're still quite far away, aren't we? we might be able to rescue this. We've still got seven miles. <laughs> I mean, I feel like that was always going to happen. Oh. Unfortunately, some of, some of, it was never bound to go smoothly, but I have to commend how well you set that up there. Let's just pretend you made that landing because uh, that was so well, nicely done. I mean, yeah, the speed is low, but it's not low enough to uh, cause a stall, so that doesn't explain why it started... I mean, it started pitching down because this was being pushed forwards. <laughs> yeah, you've still got a chance, Kozo, and you've still got a chance. <laughs> still got a chance. The glide slope's actually above us. So if we stay on level flight for a little while there, you might be able to actually start uh, descending on the glide slope again although we are we are ascending for some reason I don't think I've ever had this situation before so I'm not sure why it's doing this <laughs> oh no <laughs> with the bank right oh dear Right, that's your runway there. Yeah, actually, uh, oh no, we're just going above the glide slope now. Oh no. Oh no. It's all gone wrong. It's all gone wrong. So close, yet so far away. It's on auto throttle. Do you want me to turn the auto throttle off? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Pictures take a moment before disaster. Oh my god, have you just saved it? Oh no. Oof. <laughs> Wait. Oh my god. Wait. 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 Oh no. <laughs> poor, poor plane. I'm not sure why the spoilers aren't arming for some reason. There you go, I've armed them for you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and uh just a second uh aj 19 delta i did see your uh i did see your message there i'm gonna have a quick look at that in a second oh no this isn't good <laughs> oh we're still going we're still going I don't know why idle isn't working either. Let's see, does idle actually work? I 
think it's just the autopilot is still um, on, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> hey, Raju, welcome to the stream. Oh, you've got it back up. Oh, my God. Just before you went over the road. <laughs> oh, no, still. Oh, dear. Oh, God, that was bad. <laughs> Absolute butter, mate. <laughs> oh, no, I think I think it's all come to a... I think it's all gone wrong, guys. I'm not sure why the idle isn't working either. I, I don't know. I, I just think I think you've broken the plane. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it seems to be stuck on Togra. I can't even move that. <laughs> Welcome to Madrid, everybody. But there's the airport over there. He didn't actually do... We're kind of in the vicinity of the airport. Hey, Giancarlo. Thank you very much for following. I hope you're well. Hope you're having a fantastic week. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. You were doing absolutely amazing, Cozone. Absolutely amazing. The throttles are stuck, guys. I don't know what's happened there. I can't actually move them. Maybe it's because the auto throttle's still on. Hey, Jane. Welcome to the stream. You've just joined us here. Uh, chat has just managed to uh, land safely, as you can see, in Madrid. <laughs> I don't actually think you can... Oh, there you go. Wait. The engines did stop then. I didn't even realize that was a command that worked. Clearly it is. But for some reason, the engines are still still going. I'm not, I'm very confused, guys. I'm very confused. There we go. <laughs> All right, guys, what do you want to do? Do you want to try that again? Do you want me to restart us at the, uh, at the, uh, at the airport. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, I'm actu I actually, com to be honest with you, it's a bit embarrassing actually. I, I completely forgot to install the Salt Lake mod before starting this the, the sim today. So this is not the mod. So we can probably blame the default aircraft a little bit. But yeah, I mean, by all means, yeah, he, he occasionally does pop in. But so yeah, by all means, uh, give him a shout. <laughs> but I don't think in the salty mod we've actually changed that much with regards to the autopilot. So um, so yeah, I'm not sure how much uh, how much would have, would would have been different there. All right, let's uh, let's just go back to the main menu real quick and uh, let's start us up on the. Uh, we'll start us up on a runway, and uh, we can maybe try that try that again. Um, let's start. Let's just do the same same again. All right, hey Ninjo, welcome, welcome. I hope you're well, mate. I hope you're well. Welcome, welcome. Twitch chat has just uh, successfully landed a 747. <laughs> yeah, AJ Delta. Um, yeah, I mean, let's have another go. Let's have another go. I suppose it's quite interesting when you have it in Twitch chat because you can kind of see all the uh, the commands that are going and a little bit more literally than than what you would otherwise. And uh, just while we're paused here for a second, um, 
Let's just read your message from earlier. So you put this is uh, this just in. A passenger went into cardiac risk and needs to needs immediate attention. There is a doctor on board trying to stabilize the passengers. This is a sim challenge. What would you do in this real life situation? Just sim what you would do in a chat, radio, and flight wise without actually doing to make ATC mad to practice emergency radio map reading procedures. Um, that's a good one, actually. I've not really, to be honest, done anything with regards to emergencies or failures. Um, <laughs> I haven't really practiced anything like that, to be quite honest with you. Uh, I mean, obviously, it would be a case of just going to uh, the nearest airport that could accommodate your aircraft. Um, but, yeah, that's, that's a good one, mate. That's a good one. Uh, I will I will certainly have a think about that. I'll certainly have a think about that. Uh, Sean, yes, I did get your message. My apologies. I've just been uh, trying to... Uh, <laughs> trying to read all the messages here. Um, did I get your message? So... Yeah. Yeah, you and Ninjo. Let's do this. Hang on. Let me just uh, enable the uh, commands... Right, there you go. You ready ready to go, mate. Whenever you're ready. Whenever you're ready, guys. Punch it. <laughs> yeah, Sean, um with regards to my settings, um yeah, I will send you I've got some screenshots of my settings which I will send. Um and my uh my stream my, my my pc specs are actually in the description of the post so if you press see more then you can see um my specs there's like a link um actually no there isn't <laughs> apologies but if you go into my twitch channel it's actually in the description all all down there my specs of my pc parking brakes are on guys <laughs> There we go. Let's go, guys. I don't think we got any flaps down, but... Uh, it's a long runway, so we might just make it. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Oh, that's so close to a tail strike. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful. How are we doing in here? We've got about a 25 degree angle up here, guys. <laughs> We're losing speed drastically. There we go. There we go. Recovering. Recovering. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, that's not a bad start. Yeah, I'm going to set this to 8,000 for you guys. Just to give you a little, uh, little boost. All right. All right. So um, I will just... Uh, you've got the autopilot on. I would probably not... To be honest, use the LNAV and VNAV because um, it kind of it kind of messes up a little bit last time, I think, and it doesn't let you use the throttle either when that's on, and uh, it just makes heading select a bit a bit annoying. So maybe keep that off. I don't know. Might be better better off. Um, I'm just gonna set. Oh, <laughs> I didn't, didn't even initialize the plane, did I? Oh God, we're going quick. Need to throttle back a bit, I think. Uh, oh, the auto throttle isn't working, is it? Do we need to turn that on? There we go. 
Yeah, it's a bit weird, the auto throttle. I'm not sure if that's a bug or, or if that's how it's supposed to be, but for some reason it doesn't turn on unless you turn LNAV or VNAV on at least once. There we go, auto throttle's on now. Right, I'm just going to put you guys in uh, the arrival. Um... I'm going to leave all this for now. Uh, destination is LEMD. Um, <laughs> I can just see out the corner of the eye that we're, de we're descending like crazy right now. <laughs> Yo, we're, we're, we're uh, yeah, bad things are happening. There we go. Rescued it. Rescued it. Sorry guys, I'll, I'll put it back onto the instruments in a second, um, which I don't know what runway we used, but it doesn't really matter. Um, and then we'll set up the arrival. Oh, why is it not letting me set an arrival? Oh, we're, we're, oh boy, we're climbing now. <laughs> there we go. So we'll go for the same runway again, 18 right. We'll use Zulu, and the transition will be the same as last time. Okay, cool. So that should give us some kind of flight plan. How come the plane is going so crazy? I thought, I thought freaking autopilot was on. It is on. Uh, it's not looking good, guys. <laughs> I think Ninja is trying to sabotage us. <laughs> I like I like your initiative there, AJ Delta. Uh, imagine uh, if we could get that kind of order in Twitch chat, I would be amazed. Oh, there we go. That's some serious nose up right there. All right, there we go. We've got a little rough flight plan there. Um, yeah, that's kind of the uh, course we want to follow if you want to attempt the ILS again. Oh, fair dues, Ninja, fair dues. Sorry, I wasn't, I wasn't paying enough attention, to be honest. I was just trying to set the FMS up. Right, what what information do you guys want on the screen to, to help you do this? Do you want the PFD or the ND or, or do you want any of that enlarged or do you want me to just leave it like here? Yeah, last time what you did worked pretty nice, Cozone. Uh, I think LNAV is actually on, even though the light isn't on. So it is actually going to just follow this path right now. Uh, it also says heading hold. So maybe it's... It's definitely not on heading hold mode, though, because you haven't got the dotted line. So I think it's what it's going to do is it's going to follow this pink line now, because I think, like I say, even though the button's not lit up, lit up some of the buttons don't light up when you put the commands in, so... Um, LNAV, I believe, is actually on. So we'll see what it does when it gets to the line, but I'm pretty sure it's just going to follow the line now. I think. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so it's going to follow the magenta line. It's turning into it now. So I'm actually just going to click this on and off just so the light's on so you guys can see what's what's occurring here. Um, also, uh, I'm not entirely sure why the speed's so low. Is this, does this actually work right now? Oh, it does, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, so, uh, yeah, you can control the speed using the autopilot. Uh, we're looking good, though, guys. We're looking good. 8,000 feet. Uh, we've got alt hold on now. Um, and we're on LNAV. We are actually, yeah, on track somehow. 228 knots. Oh, the nose is going up for some reason. Why is it climbing? Uh, it is uh, 49 nautical miles to the next waypoint. Mm, I like the coordination going on there, guys. I like the coordination. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it should just stay at the right altitude, but for some reason it... Yeah, there we go. It's just... It's it's captured the altitude now, so it should just stay at 8,000 now. The only issue is with using these commands is sometimes the, um, the FMAs don't update. So you can't 100% tell what it's doing, but I tell you what I'm going to do is... I'm going to just do this. I'm just going to toggle this on and off and see if it just uh, stabilizes itself. It seems to be like, <laughs> it's funny. Like it looks like it's fighting with itself to try and stay at 8,000. Uh, yes, I can set it to 7,000, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure why it's descending either, to be honest. It's... It's being a bit weird, <laughs> to be honest. I think this might be uh, potentially an Asobo bug, to be honest. I, I have, have had some weird things happen with the 747 since the latest patch in the, when using autopilot. Yeah, at least it's not like going totally crazy. It's kind of at least staying roughly in the region that we want it to. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty heavy, heavy angle of attack, but. Uh, with VS as well, you need to, you need to type in VS to toggle it on as a mode before you can actually change the uh, vertical speed up and down. There you go. Uh, oh, that didn't work for some reason. Oh, it is working. It's just not showing. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> yeah, Gene. The uh, yeah, it's 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 being a little bit crazy right now, but we we are actually getting there. We are actually getting there. We're not doing too bad at all, I don't think. Uh, I can set it to 7,000, yep. That was weird. It actually, uh, the pink dot actually appeared then for a second for vertical speed. But then it didn't do anything.
But yeah, I guess we just I guess we just chill for a while. Yeah, uh, that's that's provided provided that uh, no one else comes in and decides to uh, have some different plans. <laughs> I suppose that's always a possibility. There's our airport right there. Oh, you need the ND, yeah, sorry. Uh, why does it look like we're climbing? I think the aircraft is probably just keeping quite a high angle of attack to um, keep the speed down to 200 knots. ND, there we go. And I'll give you the PFD as well. Right, we are getting a localizer coming in now, but I wouldn't I wouldn't do anything because we're obviously just we're just crossing over the localizer beam. So well as I'm sure you guys know we uh, we kinda need to turn around first. <laughs> I mean you can do whatever you want guys, like I mean it's entirely up to you, but if you do follow LNAV, it is gonna bring you in nicely on the on the localizer, so Yeah, I mean it's up to you. You could you, you could use heading select and cut in, but it's it's going to be a pretty tight turn, I think. So personally, I would just I would just follow it. Oh yeah, we're climbing like crazy now. What what just happened? What just happened? <laughs> What actually just happened? I didn't I didn't see any commands get put in that uh, would cause us to climb so wildly. I'm just trying to work out what happened there. So we did we did flaps down, but that shouldn't cause this to happen. What what is actually going on? I guess it yeah, it probably is just uh a, a Sobo's Autopilot. Seeing as though it's an Asobo bug, do you, do you guys just want me to to uh, correct what's just gone wrong here? Because it's just going to be a pain for you guys to do it otherwise, I think. Please do. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'll correct it. Okay, and then we will go autopilot on. Whoa! What the dickens? <laughs> you guys just see that, right? What in the world? I'm just trying to correct it using my joystick, which I did just do. 
But then as soon as I turned on the, the autopilot, it trimmed us down like nothing else. Uh, the approach is is dialed in, yeah. Right, okay. You guys, you guys have control again. Um, I'll zoom this in as well a little bit. Now, um, yeah, yeah. I think that's. I think that's. I think that's a bug, to be honest. <laughs> I've had this happen in the CJ4 as well, where you just activate autopilot and it just trims you, like, nose down, like crazy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I think things have gone wrong here, guys. I don't think... I think I would probably just maybe... Oh, I don't know what to do now. You might, you could, you probably still be able to do it, but you might have to do it. You might have to fly it manually. All right, I'll try get you stable. Uh, I'll try get you trimmed out so you're flying level at least. And you're not going to hit the mountains, <laughs> which is uh, almost what happened there. Right, there you go. You're kind of stable now, so, um... Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> okay, you probably need to climb a bit. I I'll get you over these mountains. And then I'll let you guys... I'll get let you guys take over. Look at that. Just made it over those hills. Right, there you go. I'm not going to touch my joystick now. The problem is, I don't know why the auto... Because we won't be able to fly the ILS anymore, unfortunately, because of the autopilot um, doing whatever the hell just happened. So, oh. Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, we can't use the autopilot anymore. For some reason, it just trims your nose down. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh no. It's all gone wrong. It's all gone wrong. <laughs> Look at the gear. Wait, is the gear coming out? No, it's not. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you what I'll do is um, I'll I'll spawn us in in the air, and we'll try to do it a bit better. Hey, uh, Ninja Pickles, welcome back. Good to see you in the chat. Good to see you. Welcome back. And uh, Schlegel Milch as well. Welcome back. Good to see you in the chat again. <laughs> Welcome to Madrid. Okay, I'll tell you what we could do is I could set this as an arrival right here. And then if I put us as departure like here. Maybe something like that. And then we can kind of roughly pick up where we left off. Uh, maybe if we do this as well. Um, and then... What was it? 18 right. So we've got 18 right Zulu. And we'll just do direct. 
Uh, there we go. Cool. So let's try it again and maybe the, uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, uh, the autopilot won't totally go wrong on us this time. Well, that was, that was fun though. It, it's, it is, <laughs> it is good though. Like, I mean, when, when, uh, nobody goes rogue and decides to n pitch the, the nose down, it's, uh, it's pretty magical actually. Right, are we ready, guys? Are we ready? Let's go. And we're on. <laughs> Cheers, Ninja. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> right, we're in, guys. We're in. Uh, we're at 13,000 feet. Uh, autopilot is actually on already. Everything else is set. I'll just make sure the, yeah, the ILS is tuned and uh, routing is, is pretty, pretty straightforward, really. Um, essentially, what you'll just need to do is, um, by the looks of things, just descend us so that we're ready for an ILS intercept. Chilling. I don't know why LNAV doesn't show here, but it is on. I can always just do that so it shows. There you go. There we go. Let's see if this works this time. All right then, can we do it guys? Can we do the landing? What I'm going to do is I'll just set uh, altitude for us. So alt uh, down. That should just about do it. Because uh, we are quite high at the moment. So probably need to descend a bit quicker. those Doritos. Now you're making me hungry, dude. All right, there we go. We're on the descent. Uh, all the throttle wasn't on for whatever reason. The autopilot's been very, very weird again, to be honest. Hello? Are you alive? Vertical speed mode's on, but it's just not wanting to descend. Let's see, if we put out the speed brakes, It still doesn't want to descend. Oh, I know why. It wants to slow down to 200 knots first, doesn't it? But for some reason, it w it's not going to thrust idle either, is it? Uh, 
Uh, we'll just we'll just use the speed brakes. I think that's probably gonna be helpful here. Okie dokie, Cozone. Well, thank you very much for tuning in, mate. I hope you've enjoyed and, uh, you know, a nice try at, at making a, a landing there. You did, uh, you did pretty damn good there. Take it easy, man. I'll catch you soon. Right. Okie dokie then. So we are descending now. Uh, I think we probably might be a bit potentially be a bit high but we'll see mm, it's slowing down the rate of descent again isn't it That's working. I'm gonna I'm gonna pitch in and help here because I think uh, we lost a few people in the chat there, so I'm gonna pitch in. Right, there we go. So it's going to slow down a little bit more uh, before it'll start descending again. It's a bit weird. The throttles seem to be in a very weird position. I don't really trust that they're going to work when we need them to. Wait. Wait, are you guys seeing this? Look at the uh, look at the trim. Look at the trim here, the stabilizer trim. See the stabilizer trim? If I toggle the auto throttle. What's that all about? <laughs> it's not like I'm turning the autopilot off completely. That's not right. <laughs> happy with the, how this turn this livery turned out actually for some of it, it was quite quick and dirty didn't really take me that long uh it's actually actually looks okay not bad at all we've even got the salty simulations on there uh ninja <laughs> So we are at uh, 8,000 feet. Uh, we're losing a lot of speed. Uh, I feel like the auto throttle is broken. I'm not going to lie. Actually, wait, is it because I had the speed brakes? So it's pitching the nose down now so that it's going to help us gain speed, hopefully. Oh god, I am. Um, I think the autopilot is just totally, totally fooked. Throttles it, yeah. I don't know why they, like, they're not moving at all though, are they? They're just staying still. Do we need to just toggle VNAV on and off? There we go. Wait. They, they start moving when I turn VNAV on. 
but when I turn it off, they stop again. <laughs> I feel like that's uh, there's some some weird bugs going on here. Because that's not how it should work. Pretty sure. Like the auto throttle seems to be connected to the stabilizer trim, and the VNAV seems to be connected to the auto throttle as well in some way. I mean, I suppose we can probably just, uh, if I just go in here and just, uh, and just do that, then that should probably work for us. Yeah, that might work. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Okay, um, not too far away now. Should probably start getting the ILS uh, coming alive on here momentarily. Let's see if we can do this. <laughs> Let's see if we can actually land it. Just using the commands. comes alive at about 15 miles, something like that. I think it's somewhere around here. I think that's about 15 miles out. You can just see the runway just about, I believe that is it there. Quick look on there uh, on Ivar Webby, see what's going on. Might might do a fly on there shortly, but not 100% sure. Um, oh, it's all kicking off in uh, what is that, Luxembourg? Oh, it's Prague, it's kicking off in Prague. Right, let's have a look then. So we've got the localizer. Localizer is alive. So that's looking good. Uh, let's do flaps down again. Probably better to get uh, stabilized a little bit earlier.
Uh, I'm going to start waiting for the glide slope to come down and then again to see uh, approach mode. Oh, the glide slope's below us somehow. All right, let's turn approach mode on. And it should do a descent towards the glide, glide slope. I know this is not the ideal way to do it, but I feel like it should have appeared a bit earlier there. Right, and then we're going to go flaps down again. There we go. That's some more flaps coming out. And then we'll go flaps down again. And flaps down again. And we're looking good. Let's go gear down. We're actually looking uh, pretty damn good considering we've just brought this in with uh, Twitch commands. Um, and we could uh, do with getting a bit less speed, I think. Yeah, so we want to be 159. So let's go. Oh, nice. <laughs> Thank you, Ninja. Absolute legend. <laughs> yeah, I think the speed increments are a little bit big. I think I need to tweak that a bit. But I mean, 140 is probably still going to work. Right, this is how we're gonna do it. So Ninja, if you're still you're still in chat, so we can try and coordinate this. So what I'm gonna do is just before we touch down, because um, I, th I feel like this doesn't auto land properly. So we're gonna try and like force it to do an auto land, if that makes sense. So um, everything else is set to slow us down. So what I'm gonna do is just before we get just before we touch down, so at like 50 feet. Um, just before we touch down, so yeah, 50 feet. I'm gonna disengage the autopilot. And if you type, if you type in idle to bring the throttles to idle, then <laughs> we should be good. We should be good. Hopefully, it'll land land properly for us. But other than that, we're looking good. We're looking good. Wow, this is looking pretty damn good. Look at that, guys. <laughs> mm, it is a bit off. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's kind of pointing to the left, isn't it? We'll just have to do it. We'll just have to do it. Are you ready? That's 100 feet. 50.
Oh, the fuck. I didn't, I didn't toggle the auto throttle off. There we go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, we're going to get the taxi off as well. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Amazing. That was pretty damn solid, actually, guys. Well, good efforts. I'm not sure why the throttle up isn't working now, though. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it does work. I don't know why it didn't work that first time, but... Nicely done though, guys. We got there. We got there. <laughs> we got there. Right then. Yeah, man. Ninja, uh, thanks for dropping by, mate. Take it easy. I'll uh, catch you again soon. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. That was good fun. That was good fun. Um, yeah, I think it's a bit sad because the autopilot is... is It's a bit wonky in this game, isn't it? So it's, it's made it very difficult for us. Um... But I think in the future, uh, well, when the next update comes out, I think we'll we'll try to do this again, maybe. And uh, well, that's assuming they fix the autopilot. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see if we can see if we can do it do it again without it messing up on us. Because we managed to take off, you know, perfectly. And uh, it was actually not that bad at all. Uh, it was just a case of bringing it in that was that was weird. Like there was a lot of weirdness going on with the uh, the autopilot and stuff like that, and the auto throttle. So, but yeah, that was good fun though. That was good fun. So I think uh, I think I am actually going to leave it there, guys. I think I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to just bring this in and park it up and shut it down. Uh, but uh, yeah, I think that's going to be all from this stream, to be honest. I think uh, keep it short and sweet uh, for this uh, this one. I do have some good uh, some some flights that I do want to do in the near future. Um, I've been really, really itching to get on iVow or VATSIM and do some proper flights with uh, full ATC or at least, you know, whatever ATC we can get. Um, so I'm really itching to, to do um, some of that stuff, which I probably will do this week at some point. Just uh, I need to find a day where I can do it. Uh, I, think, um, I think Monday, Tuesday is probably, probably going to be no stream days. Uh, so I think probably Wednesday or Thursday I'll jump back on and we will do some some actual proper proper flights with um, with ATC with real life ATC. Uh, I think that'd be great. Yeah, really look forward to doing that. Yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed anyway. Thank you very much for dropping by. I know a few familiar faces have, have come by who uh, was in the last few streams. So I appreciate you guys dropping by. And for the new followers as well, I do appreciate that. Um, you know, all the followers uh, 
All the follows are always uh, appreciated very much. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll catch you again in the next one. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna close this out now and uh, just close and just shut down the uh, the aircraft um, with the music on. So yeah, once again, thank you so much, guys, and I'll uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.